Hey, it's the Midnight Round, and today I have a small haul for you. I went to Norwich, and I have finished my dino hunting. If you've been watching my YouTube short or my Instagram, you all know I have been dinosaur hunting in Norwich for the Go Go Dinosaur Hunt of 2022. If you don't know what it is, you go around um, Norwich and Norfolk discovering dinosaurs um, and mammoths throughout the entire city of Norwich and Norfolk. You can collect mammoths and there's an app that you can use or you can use a map. I've actually used both. So more of those videos coming. Remember Instagram as well and also YouTube shorts. I've been loading them on there and I've also been loading some Halloween content. If you didn't know, TK Maxx have their Halloween stuff coming out in little bits. And I've been putting videos on Instagram and YouTube shorts. So this is what I picked up. It's a very small haul. It's not massive. But I thought I would show you. So the first item I want to show you is from a new store in Norwich called Griffin Sweets. We've been there twice now. The first time I didn't buy anything. I just went to look. But he's an American sweet store and he's also going to have a dessert bar in the back as well coming soon with, um, I think it was crepes and milkshakes and that kind of thing. But this is his Griffin sweets and dessert bar. And he's in Norwich and he, I picked up this. So this is a candy sushi soft candy mix. Um, and it's basically £3.89, which I thought was a bargain price. And it's basically sushi. So you've got jelly sweets up here, you've got marshmallow and everything. And it's meant to look like sushi. Now I'm going to do a video on this separately. And I'm going to do an Instagram and a YouTube short. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I'm also going to load some for members only content. So, it looks really cool though. I like how it's like imitation sushi. It looks kind of cool. We're going to try that out at some point. Okay. Then we went to B&M. And I picked up this candle for my son. This is the watermelon candle. I don't know why. But watermelon smells so good in a candle. And he loves it. It's so nice. This candle was £1.50 and they did it in two sizes, either the small one or there was a larger one for £4. So I just picked up the little tiny one just to make sure he likes it. Um, he's not a fan of all watermelon ones. There is a watermelon one that is like kiwi and watermelon or something. I wasn't so keen on it. Then I picked up some of these. These are the Nib Precision um, fine point pens in assorted colours, six of them, and they were two forty nine. All different colours. Sometimes when I'm doing my notes from my videos, I like to highlight different things in different colours when I do my research and that, like names or specific things I want to talk about. So I got them for two forty nine. So that was from B and M. Um. And then I went to one of my favourite stores in Norwich, and that is Gifted. So Gifted have, again, an American food section. I'm obsessed with American candy, American food. So my first item that I purchased was some Lay's, and they are Lay's Ketchup. Now this is a big bag, mind you. Okay, it's probably a sharing bag, but uh, Raven doesn't share food. And I live alone, so I don't have to. And these were three ninety nine. That may seem expensive for a bag of crisps, but honestly, they're imported, and at the minute, nothing's cheap. Let's be honest. And imports of American food were never cheap in the first place. So we got American imported Lay's in ketchup flavour. Then I picked up another set of crisps. And these are the Lay's cheese flavour. Now these are really nice. Very, very mild on the tongue. They're not overly strong cheese, just enough. And these were $2.99. So they were much cheaper. Uh, I'm guessing ketchup is uh, 
the bag itself is maybe a little bit bigger. Um, I don't know. I'm guessing these are a little bit bigger, or maybe it's just because of what they are. They do seem slightly different. Um, but I do love these. I bought these before, and these were lush. Then I picked up a drink, and I've never had this one before. This is limited edition Dr. Pepper Dark Berry. Ooh, look at that. Dominion on there. Or Jurassic World. Um, never had dark cherry before. But I do love the blue can. Obviously, we we Dr. Pepper is usually a a different colour, i.e. it's like the ready colour. But obviously this is limited edition and it's gone for dark cherry. I would have done the can like a nice dark berry um, kind of red colour. But obviously because their cans are virtually like a dark cherry anyway. But um, yeah, I did like the little dinosaur on the side. I thought that was kind of cool. It says blue and beta. Which obviously the two dinosaurs from the movie, I'm guessing. I haven't really watched Jurassic World. But I thought I would try it. And this was $1.99. Sounds very expensive for a can. And it is. But again, it's an import. But I will try that. And then one of the drinks I have had before is the Jones Cane Sugar Soda. And this is the Blue Bubblegum Soda. Again, it's not cheap. This is, I think it was two forty nine. Yeah, two forty nine. So it's not cheap. But again, it's an import. What are you gonna do? If you want American candy, American sweets, American crisps, you're gonna have to pay up a, just a tiny bit. So at two forty nine. Maybe a little overpriced, but I do love bubblegum soda. It's one of my favourite drinks. And I also had, when I was up there, um, I went to a place called Shake, and I had a bubblegum millions milkshake. And that was like £3.25. So, American stuff is never cheap, okay? You're just going to have to pay the import price. But I think it's really cool. Um, it does leave your tongue a bit blue, though. So if you like a blue tongue, and I don't know why you would, <laughs> but it does make your tongue slightly blue. So maybe be careful not to drink this maybe for work or to take it on your break. So we've got the blue gum soda. we got the Dr. Pepper dark berry. We've got not one, but two sets of crisps, ketchup and cheese, because, well, I need two. We've got the candle, which is going to make my son smell... Room smell great. The pens are for YouTube because I'm always doing stuff. And then I've got my candy, which I'm going to do a video on very, very soon. So keep an eye on YouTube Shorts and Instagram if you want to see more about this candy sushi from this store in Norwich. If you haven't been there, I highly recommend it. There is even a map on the back to find his store. And there's also going to be a dessert bar opening in August, which I'm going to be going to, and I'm 110% going to be filming it, because I've been there once, I've been there a second time, I told him I was going to put this stuff on YouTube for him, and show his place off, I did pay for the items, mind you, but I said I would show his card, and then I'm going to try his dessert bar when it opens in August, cannot wait to go there, but yeah, check out Griffin's Sweets, um, it also has a website as well. So if you want to go to uh, griffinsweets.com, I believe it also has a website. So check that out. If you want to like and subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. Dinosaur video is coming on the way. And my new ghost series is up and running. We are starting Halloween early this year. And if you haven't seen my video of what's coming to TK Maxx for Halloween. There's been at least two videos up now on YouTube Shorts, so go over there or I will put it up here. Like and subscribe, and I will see you very soon for another video. Don't get too burnt out in the heat. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.